Hey everyone, it's Laura Brenneman. Uh, today I'm coming to you live to talk about red light and green light stories that we tell ourselves and why it matters. If you're able to see me, if you can uh, give me a thumbs up and a howdy, that would be great. If you're catching me on the replay, um, put in the comments, hashtag replay. All right, so what if the very thing that we fear is the very thing that would lead us to a breakthrough in our personal lives or even our business? What if we use fear as a compass to let us know what our next step should be? So each day we are telling ourselves stories in our minds. They are stories that can either empower us um, and give us courage to take action, or they can be stories that will cause us to just be paralyzed by fear. So a red light story is something that we tell ourselves uh, that causes us to hide from our fear. It gives justification as to why we can't do the things that we should be doing. And a green light story is a story that gives us courage and it causes us to step out. We're going to still feel fear, but we're stepping out anyway and we're going to take action anyway. So an example of a red light story would be something like, you know, I really should reach out to my to my friend. I haven't talked to her in years. Um, but you know what? She's probably really busy. She's got young kids and she's probably not interested in, in reconnecting with me. Um, yeah, I, I'm just not going to do it then. She, yeah, not going to do it. I don't want that kind of rejection. A green light story would be something uh, like, you know what? Uh, I haven't spoken to her in years, but you know what? We used to have a great time together. We would laugh and talk for hours. And you know, I know she's really busy, but um, I'm busy too. And I bet we could really help each other and support each other in this season in our lives. And so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make that call. I feel nervous about it, but I'm going to make that call and I'm going to reconnect and uh, see what happens from there. That is an example of a green light story. We could have green light and red light stories in our business. Uh, so for me, uh, I have a red light. Every time I want to do a Facebook Live, I can. It's, it would be so easy to talk myself out of doing a Facebook Live uh, because I, I struggle with communication and um, creating uh, complete sentences. Uh, my mind, you know, sometimes just kind of blinks out. But you know what? I, I, I redirect and I give myself a green light story just thinking, what if I can inspire one other person who feels that kind of same fear, but what if I can inspire one more person to step out and to do it and they can have success uh, a successful time at it. So those are your red lights and green lights. So it's important to be aware of these stories that we're telling ourselves. Um, catch ourselves. So if you are telling yourself a red light story that is going to cause you to be paralyzed and not take action, then you need to um, catch yourself and to turn it around. What would that story look like if it was a green light story? And um, tell yourself that story, that green light story. And uh, successful people, as you can imagine, they tell themselves green light stories. Unsuccessful people tell themselves red light stories. All right, I'm going to say a quick prayer here. Um, again, I don't even know if this is thing, thing is going or not, but let's pray. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And I pray for my Facebook friends, Lord. I pray that you would allow us to think on things that are, are true, Father, and the stories that we tell ourselves. May they be true stories, Lord. May may we um, be aware. Would you make us aware, Father, of the stories that we tell us that just paralyzes us and brings fear and causes us to not have any action? And Father, would you bring uh, stories to our minds? Could you bring truth to our minds that would cause us to even though we might feel fear, that we would still step out and take those actions. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye.